Today for the Bitcoin price with DaVinci J15, we will be talking about Bitcoin, namely the price of Bitcoin, not only in the immediate short term, but also in the mid run here leading towards the halving, because we will show with our TA what scenario is right now the most likely one for the Bitcoin price leading into the halving and also what's going to happen after the halving. We will talk about all of that with DaVinci J15, but even more important, and after the TA, we want to bring up this crazy statistic here showing us that not only the United States, but also the ECB of Europe, the People's Bank of China and all central banks in the world were just within the last month like crazy cutting the interest rates up until the negative range. Guys, we will be talking about all of that. So make sure you take a seat. Make sure you smash up the like button to at least 3000 likes. And that being said, we want to come to the most important question of the day. Da Vinci J15, how are you doing today, my man? I'm doing great. I'm going to be very happy on Friday because the end of the curfew, well, not curfew, but uh, uh, quarantine will end finally. Right? We still have curfew, but uh, quarantine will end on Friday. So I will be able to, I don't know, do something like go to a mall. I don't know if I want to do that in this <laughs> pandemic, but I'll be able to. Of course, <laughs> How of about course. you? How you doing? It will be fine. Yeah, I'm doing very well. We can go out. However, of course, the beaches, um, are, most of the beaches are closed and everything and everyone, we, ha we are all taking care. And um, after 10, there is still a curfew for us as well. So, yeah, we can feel it as well. But even more, um, even better is that we have now time to concentrate on content. So thanks for asking. I'm doing well. Maybe we can pull up the charts and um, yeah, see what you have to say for Bitcoin in the short term, but also leading into the halving. Um, a lot of people were asking that recently. Yeah, well, there's been a lot of indecision here going on with Bitcoin, as you can see, even with uh, these two points here, you can see that, I mean, we tried to go uh, higher right here and we failed. We tried to go lower and we failed and we did it again here as well. So Bitcoin had a lot of uh, this un undecisive behavior in the last four days here. And it just it's trying to figure out a direction. And I really think it's leaning towards the downside here. Uh, there's a little bit more of confirmation today that just happened um, as we went into the next day here. As we take a look at the, the, uh, the four hour, you can see on the four hour, the one hour and uh, a gap, right? And you can, if we zoom in a little bit and there it is, there's the gap right in there. There's a gap right there oh, yeah. saying, hey, that's that's a actually that's converting from today. Right. So that's a gap and go. Normally you can uh, you with a gap and go. You short the market if it goes down and gaps down um, and you go long if it gaps up. And so I think we're probably going to push this thing down. It's going to decide to go down. There's like a, a very high percentage probability of like 80 percent now that we're heading down. Four in the morning, we were like, you know, 60, 40 uh, towards the downside. Now it's uh, pretty hot. Now, one of the things you must remember is that we're always just one fat finger away from the market going in the opposite direction, right? So with trillions of dollars being printed everywhere, <laughs> this, just one person with a trillion dollars in their pockets, just burning a hole in their pocket, can send this market flying. So... Please set your stops. If you're interested in trading this market, right? Uh, let's see here. Let's go, let's go down to the one hour and figure out where your stop should be. If you're interested in taking a short down here uh, with this gap and go, your stop is right up here. Let me see here. Um, which here is the uh, 6,901. If it breaks that, walk away. Just walk away and then let the... Let the market do whatever it wants to do at that point. If it wants to go higher, that's fine, right? Because uh, that's uh, I think that's probably where it's going to probably break. I think it had really effectively, in order for it to, to really effectively um, go, go to the upside, it's got to break the $6,990, well, almost $7,000 mark here at this point before we can say, hey, yeah, it's it's going higher. Mm -hmm. then, and then, of course, if we're going for 
for like if you want to do a um, breakout trade, you could always wait for like the uh, the the six six thousand seven hundred sixty six level. Is that another six? Oh, I thought there was another six there. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been funny. <laughs> yeah, kind of, kind of, kind of. Like the last there. time uh, where we actually yeah. hit the level. Actually, by the way, congrats, Da Vinci. That was a great call in the last episode where you said that we would be most likely going down to the 23.6, which was the 6,660 US dollar level. And in fact, we went down. And also, I opened a trade at that point of time. So um, that was a very, very, uh, very, very nice one. I will show the trade towards the end of the episode. Well, you could always just move your stop loss here to the six. Uh, 6,766 because you know remember we're only one fat finger away from us, us blasting off so exactly that could easily has just as easily happen as uh, we, we fall down so so don't count your chickens before they hatch when it comes to trading I would suggest yeah if you want to take a, 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 a short here that's fine um, you know your stop loss is right up here could uh, could uh, break us out and then dump back down, but uh, I really doubt it. I think if it if it gets up here, it's probably going to go a lot higher and yeah. it end, might end up breaking this level up here. So uh, I I don't see that happening. I th really think that this gap and go is the most likely thing to happen. Where we should end up now is uh, let's just take a look at where we should end up. Uh, let's go to the uh, four hour for that and see where we should end up with the, this trade here already there we go so if we take i would say we have to take yes that's right this this a if we do this a b equals c d um point from here to here i would say the safest uh trade to make would be taking us down to i think it's like six thousand four hundred and seventy dollars i believe it is yeah well eighty four dollars approximately so there it is four thousand seven hundred four thousand four hundred and eighty four dollars is where you would uh want to take profits uh just in case because you, you know how this this again once again this can can turn on a dime i really think that this lines up with uh, a 61.8 level as well if we take it from here to there this target yeah. would be actually very sad. We would put in a lower low so, um, in this in this four hour uptrend we actually had so far. Yeah, so I'd be careful. I wouldn't take it all the way to 6,000, which is most likely the, the target. But uh, for a short, yeah, for a safe short, right, you'd wait all the way, you head it down uh, somewhere around the 6,480 some odd dollars, maybe all the way to the $460 is where you take your short. Um, if you're going to take one at this point in time. All right, so that's about it for my technical analysis. Now, remember, always remember, this thing could always go higher. And if it breaks, especially if it breaks this higher, this, yes. uh, uh, this for sure, if you've got, a, if you, if you, if you want a stop loss that's for sure going to break and means that this is going higher to like 8,500, it's got to break this level here for sure, like at, at uh, 7,201 dollars before you can say oh yeah yeah for sure it's going higher yeah and yeah it would help if it, go, it gets above the, the, the trend line but i think it will do it anyway so all right so that's it would be would be amazing though to see price levels mm -hmm. above 7200 and um yeah start this new uptrend here on the lower time frames just before we go into that mind-blowing numbers here for all the central banks i wanted to ask because so many people were interested in that what are your thoughts for the price leading into the halving i know remember yesterday we talked about some numbers here in the bearish scenario can we just put them out there so the people can maybe share your their thoughts in the comment section um what of course, I mean, it's very hard to predict. Everything can go the other way. Um, but what would you say is a likely scenario if all of these things on the TA um, pan out for us? Well, I think if we head over to the $5,000 level, which is 61.8, I think that will occur over the next several weeks and bring us right into the halving at that point or close to it. And, that, and at that point, I think the Bitcoin might be turning around but who knows? I think Bitcoin could uh, possibly turn around a lot sooner because, I mean, once people, I just did a tweet today that, you know, there is no gold. I think it just takes a little bit of time for, for, for investors to go, what? I can't buy any gold? I can only buy the paper gold? 
Okay, well, why don't I just get this digital Bitcoin thing, right, which to, I could just buy it and I know I own it, yes. not this paper stuff, which I don't know if there's any gold behind that. So I think yeah, this could turn Bitcoin around very, very fast and uh, and without warning. So you just don't know. Um, we'll, but we'll see it in the charts well before it does before it does happen. But right now we're we're pointing down. So. Yep. Unfortunately, that's where we have to stick. We have to. We have to point. We have to say, "Hey, that's where the market's taking us." We have to wait until it changes. But here we are talking about what are we talking about? About the next few weeks. However, guys, always remember the long-term direction of Bitcoin. And you always heard us talking about price targets of a million, five million. But guys, let me tell you something. Leading into the hyperinflation, we can see price targets of twenty, fifty, hundred million. 200 million per Bitcoin and how all of this will will work out. This is exactly what we want to show you right now because look at this statistic Da Vinci before I ask you for your valued opinion. Guys, if you check this out, you can see Switzerland, the Eurozone, Japan, UK, US, um, like all the central banks which you can possibly imagine in the whole world. Look at their last moves here for the interest rate in um, February, most of them in March, some of them in April. They have all cut the interest rates. And here on the left hand side, you can see the real um, central bank rate and most of them are already negative. Whereas the central bank rate today, most of them are either negative or very, very, very close to zero. And um, of also, of course, remember that the Federal Reserve has depository requirements of 0%. All of this together adds up to the massive cocktail of potentially infinite fiat currency in the system. And now, Da Vinci, I really want to ask you, what do you think about this very, very toxic cocktail we are having right now? What do you think will be the impact on the financial system? But also, what will be the impact on the price of Bitcoin? Well, as you know, uh, most uh, command and control com economies have failed. Uh, not most, all of them have, actually. And you can see that with the Soviet Union, China, they all decided, realized that when they collapsed, finally collapsed, they said, okay, we got to change, we got to do something different because, you know, this is not working. And this is the same with uh, when you control the, the money supply and just control interest rates. It's the same result. When you control money and you have people in power that, that, that has, has the ability to control money and don't need, they have never ever had a business before and they've, they don't know how the economy works, you know that's a recipe for disaster. So what we've done with this uh, Federal Reserve and this, fr this uh, fractional reserve banking or printing money out of debt is that we've inflated bubbles everywhere, practically everywhere. And um, anything that's purchased, normally purchased with debt, is going to collapse in price. And I'm talking about your real estate, I'm talking about your stocks, and I'm talking about your collectibles that have also been purchased with debt. These things are going to get destroyed and wiped out. Whilst other things such as cryptocurrencies and gold and silver have not been purchased with debt and they will go skyrocketing in the in the coming uh, months. Usually what happens with uh, inflation of the printing press, it takes about 12 to 18 months. And the same with the quantitative uh, hardening, right, which we're going through in about 30 days, about 20, well, 28 to 30 to 20 to 20, 20 to 28 days. We're going to see quantitative hardening, right, with Bitcoin. And that will take about 12 to 18 months to materialize in price. And you'll see with that conversing, we'll see Bitcoin at some extraordinary heights. I'm, I'm afraid that my $1.2 million call is going to come true. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want it to come true. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. But in the end, it also comes down to the purchasing power. Is it 1.2 million in today's purchasing power? Most probably not, right? So um, exactly. this is, Bitcoin is just a way to secure your wealth. And of course, you might also gain some purchasing power. But in the end, by holding fiat, you will for sure lose nearly everything because this is going to be worthless um, yeah, anytime soon. 
Thank you so much for that, Da Vinci. And also one very important thing to consider for everyone is think about it. If you are buying gold, if you are buying um, Bitcoin, you are actually only securing your wealth because wealth is like energy in the world. It is not destroyed with that financial crisis. It is not destroyed with the hyperinflation. It's just transferred from A to B from one person to another. And what you can do right now is take all the knowledge you have. And that's why you are watching YouTube here and transfer it into actions and secure your wealth and things like like gold, silver, Bitcoin. And with that nice anticipating move, you will be actually um, making sure that you are on the other side of the bet and that you are attracting that wealth when things go bad. Thank you so much for sharing that with us, Da Vinci. And before I come to a very, very important question, many people have been asking us, how is it about, uh, how is it going with our trade? As you remember, we closed the last trade here actually in a profit. And um, then we opened the new trade after the price broke down, which was quite nice at approximately 6,660 US dollar, as we mentioned in the last DaVinci J15 episode. This trade is right now profitable, as you can see, with approximately 26%, but the stop loss is set at the break even point, guys. So, um, just that you know that we are not going full on here when the price breaks down we will be stopped out at a break even if you want to do the same only do it if you're an experienced trader if you're not experienced dollar cost averaging holding for the long run is for sure the best way if you are experienced take a small portion of your portfolio and you can trade on bybit and femix on leverage um, and you can get, get up to 202 dollars for free you scroll down to the pin comment and there you can click the link and within 20 seconds you get one account each year and 202 dollars completely for free but very important if you're experienced only and da vinci we have been talking about panora's wallet before you have um, a very very special offer which is going on for like two weeks more and then it's over forever may you introduce us to that and let us know what the people can do if they want to take advantage of that yes before i go into that i want to talk about these two videos right that will go over basically the very hilarious raps about the, the inflation and deflation, um, they're, they're funny between Hayek and Keynes, right? They're the two economists that uh, talk about the difference between uh, using the money printer and using hard money and uh, why we have in the situation that we're in today. Uh, with the the boom and bust cycles that's going on, so check those those videos yeah. out. I will put it in the here. I will put it in the pin comment down below and in the description. I want everyone to know you should know Keynes is the bad one and Hayek is the good one, but everything else you should figure out yourself. Thanks for sharing that, Da Vinci. Um, it's very valuable content. I can know that already. Um, yeah, what about Panora's wallet? Yeah, so if you're interested in joining my. Uh, Telegram group, right, where I'm sharing trades. I even shared some trades today with everybody in the Telegram group. And uh, actually, uh, you ask me any kind of question, uh, it's easier if you do it there. A lot of people send me questions on Twitter, send me questions in Telegram um, through personal uh, DMs um, and also through uh, uh, different uh, channels. Uh, I really don't answer the questions from those places, but if you join, um, Pandora's wallet and you subscribe for even just one month you will be a permanent member of my telegram group and um, I will answer whatever questions you have that uh, that you come up and no question is a silly one no one no question has been if you asked if somebody's asked it millions of times I will answer it every single time now also um, if you want to, to me to do a video about a particular coin and also add that coin to Pandora or consider adding that coin to Pandora's wallet if you purchase two years subscription um, I will talk about that coin in a video as well as doing my normal TA and so forth I won't there's no guarantee that I will endorse that coin I might then that the TA will be positive I can't guarantee that but I will uh, talk about the, the, the do some TA and do some fundamental analysis of the coin. And if it's good, uh, I might just add it. So uh, just uh, so if you're interested, uh, that's uh, another option to, you know, shill your bags. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> As they say. Um, okay. I will Thank put the link much. in the, yeah, no problem. I will put the link in the pinned comment down below. Everyone is free to just scroll down and check it out. In my opinion, it's too cheap. I already told you a few times, especially for these amazing um, value adds you are providing with your group or with doing TA and fundamental analysis. But 
This is you, Da Vinci. You like it to offer it for cheap, cheap. And that's actually also very nice for everyone out there. So thanks for sharing all of that. And I wanted to tell everyone we had a collaboration where I was featured in the Moons channel. I will put the link of the video also in the pinned comment down below. You are free to check it out. It was a very, very interesting video. Carl is sharing his thoughts about the all-time high of the halving. And I'm sharing my thoughts about a very, very important indicator, which is about to set up a very nice buy indication in three or four weeks and make sure you check that out that will be very interesting and also smash up the like button to at least 3000 likes and i want to come to the last question of today da vinci do you have anything to share before we wrap up today's episode yes always play from a position of strength and don't get wrecked do not get wrecked guys thank you so much for watching and we will see each other very soon at the next one of mm crypto already tomorrow and as always guys as always bye bye